What's going on guys? This afternoon, closer to the evening really, we only have like hour and 15, hour and 20 of good light. Doing another island hopping, island exploring fishing session. So I had Lars drop me off in the dinghy. This is a beautiful island. This is a beautiful island that I've never been to before. And, um, but what I noticed on Google Maps, check this out. So you got a really strong current ripping right through here. So you got some shallow rocks here. And then it looks like it kind of goes out and around this island. So there's a lot of current. There's some deeper rocks right over there. So I really want to fish like this cut and these rocks and then go around this island. It's If I can, if I safely can hike through here, because it gets, I was looking, it's like getting pretty steep. Yeah, it's a plan. Do some fishing, you know, kind of same thing as we did earlier today. Bouncing the shrimp along the bottom. Uh, see if we catch some, some more snapper. Ideally, can catch some... Uh, some more mutton snappers actually get them in hole this time uh maybe some grouper whatever kind of snapper really i mean i'd like to keep a mutton snapper and or grouper that's ideally the target species so also trying not to break an ankle trying to fish these rocks here looks like the current's going like this so i want to get right there and bounce it along the bottom there and uh Oh man, this is this is a this island's a little less safe to hike. I'll tell you that. But uh, let's get to fishing here. Nice deep drop off. That's what I wanted. All right. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna start casting like that. Well, I wanted to hit that rock, let it sink to the bottom, and just drift it along here. Nope, I see it. It's... No, I do have a fish. There we go. Nice. There we go. Little grouper. Little baby grouper. Thought I had a fish on there. First fish of the afternoon session. Beautiful little grouper. Whoop. Ouch. There you go, buddy. See you later. Let's give her a cast. Right along there. not even really reeling much i'm just letting it pop and then drift with the current so the current's going to move the line for you so if anything i should really just be feeding line out you know but i want to cover this little like drop off area because it looks like that current funnel is right there oh man look at that reef line Whoo we're going to cast up current, let it drift this way back across the reef here. You see all these rocks right here? Oh yeah, we gotta, gotta pick off a fish here. Ooh. That's a fish. That's a mutton. Come on. Or a nice snapper. Come on. All right, guys, look at this beautiful, I don't know, 24, 25 inch mutton snapper on the rocks. Just like I called it, right on that freaking reef line. Dude, absolutely hammered the shrimp. The moment he hit it, I knew he was a mutton. They're just such beautiful fish, man. I mean, look, look at the colors on them, man. You got a pink tail, vibrant dark spot on them, blue stripes along the eyes. I mean, pink everywhere. It's just incredible, man. These fish are so good eating too. Oh man. You guys watch some of the summertime videos? Oh, dude. We eat the crap out of snapper. Yellowtail, mutton. All right, he's going in the box. You guys have no idea how happy I am right now. That was, that was today's target fish, especially after the ones we lost earlier today. Oh man, dude, I am so happy. Whew. All right, well, we probably have another like 30, 30, 40 minutes of fishable light, and then I'm gonna fillet this snapper. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bleed him out now, 
so that he has time to bleed out. And then once the sun gets closer to setting, and I know Lars is going to be here, pick me up to go back to the sailboat, we'll we'll clean this guy up. So maybe we catch another one. I don't know. That was like inst that was quick. <laughs> that was quick. You drift the scrimp right along the bottom there. Give it a couple pop pops and thunk. Yeah, you got to be careful sometimes because. You know, you don't want to snag a rock and then you're done, so your game's over. But, uh, this honestly, like, look at this. We're literally fishing on, like, a rocky cliff island. Like, this is insane. This is so sick to me. Like, I don't think I've ever done any fishing that's, like, close to how intense this is. Like, straight up and down with a nice mutton snapper on light tackle on the rocks. Like, this, this is crazy. If we can get a grouper to go with that sapper, oh my god. We're going to have such a good dinner. Such a good dinner. But honestly, that snapper will probably be enough for the two of us. So I casted it out there, right? And what I'm going to do, I probably casted it farther than I wanted to. But we're just going to... Oh, there we go. Oh, he came off. Are you freaking serious? That might have been another mutton. I don't know. Damn it, dude. As soon as I say I cast it too far, he smokes it. One twitch, one twitch, dunk on it. God damn, dude. All right, let that sucker drop to the bottom. And give it some twitches. Let it flutter back down to the bottom. Got him again. That's a little one. What is that? Lane? Is that a mutton? No, lane snapper. Uh, I think we'll throw back the lane snapper. I'm not really too keen on the lane. It was good, but it wasn't like insane like the grouper and the muttons are. Throw back that snapper. All right. Got another cast way back out there. I don't know. I want to fish it the deeper part and come it on to, have it come on to, to the reef. There we go. Dude, slammed it. What is that? Ooh. I don't know what kind of real fish that is. Another kind of snapper, I think. Alright, it's another lane. Oh yeah. Just a different diff differently lit up lane snapper. Yeah, we're gonna throw the lanes back. I wasn't get oh concussion. Concussion. I wasn't super keen on the lanes. Like it was good, but. Man, I hope I didn't bust this little rail, man. After these muttons, it was like, I got to crank, crank, crank. Freaking horse them in, man. Horse these muttons in. <laughs> Dude. Freaking almost busted this little, I don't know, plastic Shimano. Because my BG's been in the shop, been, um, basically my BG's done for. So if you guys have watched a lot of my videos, you know that I used to use a Daiwa BG. And I've used that thing for two and a half years. I mean, I fished the crap out of that reel, dude. Fished the living crap out of it. And uh, that one big snook in the mangroves toasted it. And um, yeah, I've been using this Sedona ever since. But man, this thing, I don't know if it can handle the workload. Oh, Ooh, right there, right straight freaking down, you little snip snapper roo. Straight down there. I don't want the little schoolmasters. Wow, dude, this, this view is freaking incredible. Like, look at this view. We're literally on a cliff on a random island in the Bahamas catching snapper. Like, what in the world? Like, what in the world is going on here? Like, what? This is so sick. Like, I'm just looking around, we got Staniel over there, million dollar yachts everywhere, random fire over there, I don't know what that is. Just like, this remote island with this like 10 foot drop off, right? Just straight cliffs. Like look at that, look at those cliffs over there. Oh my God, dude, this is, this, this, this is something else. This is something else, I tell you what, I tell you what. Man, I'm not even gonna be able to cover the rest of this island. And uh, tomorrow we were planning on heading to Black Point. 
that's the only reason why I'm getting to fish right now is because we said screw it let's go to Black Point tomorrow first thing in the morning so this is my one shot to fish this island man so I'm trying to make it count while I can oh wow look at that convenient little Oof. almost died right there Woof. Woof. oh man this is some serious Oh my god. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think we got a giant cuda here. I saw a flash of silver. Oh yeah, big flash of silver. Big cuda. Oh sh There is no way I'm landing this cuda. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. I have no idea how in the world I haven't gotten cut yet. No idea. Oh, that's a big cuda boyo. Woo! If we keep the line up here, we have a chance at him. Is there any way I can land this fish? Probably not. Oh, God damn, that's a big cuda. That's a... Oh, come on. I can't even see him. He's in the sun. Dude, right in the top of the jaw. This son of a gun ate a shrimp. Dude, I have no idea where we're gonna land this fish. I really don't. Oh, actually, wait a minute. There's a ledge right there that might be serviceable. Actually, whoo! I'm expecting to get cut here, but this kuda wants to go that way. Oh, uh, we might be able to land him here. Actually, let's see if we could take him over there. That might not be a bad idea. Because he's beat. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm not taking him here. I, I'm literally going to die. She's walking a barracuda down the rocks. All right, we're gonna take him right there. God damn, this is mad sketchy. Dropping my backpack here. If I die, I die, so be it. Holy cow, dude, this is mad freaking sketch. Mad, mad freaking sketch, dude. Oh. Dude, in the corner, look at that, top of the jaw. What in the world? It's a freaking 15 pound barracuda. 10, 15 pounder. Uh oh, yeah, here we're gonna get cut right here. This is where we get cut right here. You see that? In his mouth now. Oh, we're screwed. Oh, wait. Oh my god, no, we're not. Oh, fuck, I don't know how the hell we're gonna lift this thing up here. Oh, oh there he goes. Cut me right there. Cut me right freaking there. I knew it. I freaking knew it. I mean, there was no way we're going to get him in. <sighs> there is no way we're going to get that thing in here. I mean, I mean, look at these rocks. <laughs> look at these. Maybe I could have taken him to like that cliff, but then I'd have to like lay down on my stomach and yeah, there was no way we're getting him up. I'm, I'm surprised that we lasted all the way to the rocks here. I really am surprised. Let's go back. Let's fillet that snapper. We're going to take a couple pictures. Uh, I think we'll call it, you know, done fishing here. You know, we didn't catch as many fish as we did earlier, but the quality was a lot better. Like, that was a big barracuda, man. For this little rod, for this little thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a big cuda for this little thing. Nice mutton snapper, a couple other snapper, but uh, a lot less quantity and a lot more quality. So let's go clean up that snapper. Yeah, we bled the snapper out pretty good. He's got a couple twitches left in him, but... A lot of blood came out of that bucket. Oh man, this meat's gonna be, whoo, whoo. It's gonna be light out and I am hungry. So what we gonna do, chop him up, throw him on the grill, and uh, throw some seasoning, keep it simple. Maybe I'll tell Lars to make some rice, but we're gonna keep it simple. Throw some seasoning on him, on the grill. Oh my God, dude. Like I've literally actually taken zero B-roll. 
so to, to show you guys how crazy this island is like you guys have seen it as i've been walking along the island to, you know fishing like this is these islands are no joke man they're all solid rock zero beach here zero beach heading down sun just set i don't know where laura's is but look at these beautiful snapper fillets oh my god these meat looks so good look at that piece Ooh, boy. nick did a little bit up at the head there but i mean look at this piece Whoosh. a little bit of bloodline but wow all right getting bagged up and uh, as soon as laura's gets back here we'll throw them on the grill uh, get to eat because I'm hungry boy I'm hungry we got plenty of meat here well we've seen to have run into a conundrum here um the sun's set sun's over yonder and uh I don't know where my dinghy is so I got a bag full of mutton snapper sitting in the bucket I filleted the fish thinking he was going to be here you know around sundown right at the latest so we wouldn't have to run the dinghy at night uh but he's i don't know where i don't know so it's sun's going down it's getting dark really wanted to cook this fish i really don't want to be on a rock island all by myself at night um but no i have water i do have water i have food uncooked food but i do have i guess i could eat snapper raw if he forgets about me um which would be just wonderful um yeah we're kind of just hanging out throw some tony on there get the piece of the mutton snapper going snip snapper ruse going on the grill Ooh, that's some healthy chunks of snapper here. Healthy, healthy, healthy chunks. Throw some Tony on there. Oh, that's not going to take more than a couple minutes. Look at that. Beautiful chunks of mutton snapper sitting on the grill. Look at that beautiful meat. Bruce isn't quite done yet. It's alright. I'll, I'll get started a little bit on here. Oh. Very good. Mm. A little much on the Tony, but mm. 